Hi, I'm Jared with Live Small Ride Free. And today we're going to install our new composting airhead toilet. We've been waiting to put this in for a while. We've finished almost all of the re renovations on the trailer. We're really excited to install this. We just got it out of the box. So you can see here is all the contents of what comes in the box. Um, you've got the toilet itself, which has the solids tank and the seat assembly. There's also the urine collector bottle here. Uh, there's a spare lid for the solids tank and some other fittings that we'll get into later. So there's a, a little bit of assembly we need to do before we put it inside the trailer and we're going to start that right now. So we'll begin by separating the seat assembly from the solids tank. There's four thumb screws around the outside. We'll loosen those. Now these screws are sitting in an angled slot, which means we need to turn the upper unit slightly before lifting it up. I'm just going to kind of hold it with my feet, push down slightly because there's a gasket in here that needs to be compressed to relieve the tension, and turn it, lift it straight up. There's that gasket I was talking about. This toilet's got gaskets everywhere. It's got gaskets in the seat, in the lid, it keeps all the stinky stuff in. This one's been lightly lubricated from the factory. You don't want to get it dirty. So I'll set it over there. Now we're going to install the crank on the agitator inside. The crank handle needs to be installed onto the agitator shaft now. So we're going to pull out the cotter pin and rotate the agitator shaft until the hole in the shaft is straight up and down. That way when you slide the handle onto the shaft, it'll hang there and the holes will stay lined up. Even if you accidentally bump it or something, it's one less thing to worry about. Now you secure the crank handle with this cotter pin, just start it in that hole, and then if you give the handle a little wiggle while you push down, it'll drop right in there. So now the crank handle is secured, and you can see the operation of the agitator here. Here's the seat unit that we just removed from the solids tank. You can see this is the trap door that you open. We're doing business. There's two vent holes on it. We've already installed the collar into this vent hole. This is going to receive the hose that goes out to the fan. Uh, the trick with this guy is you want to roll this o-ring up onto the collar first before you install it so you don't get any kind of glue on it so it doesn't get in your way. If you look inside, you'll see that the retaining collar holds it in place, uh, making use of PVC cement. So we stuck this in here. We PVC glued that retaining collar on. Now this can spin freely which is important because the hose screws into it. So you have to be able to spin this to screw the hose on. And the last thing we're going to do is back at the outside, we'll take the O-ring and roll it so it snaps into the groove here. That's going to give us a seal. So with all these gaskets we've got going on, it's going to have another seal right here. It's going to help keep, um, keep everything inside the toilet. Last step on this side, there is a bug screen that gets installed. This is your intake side where fresh air is going to be drawn in. The toilet draws in fresh air and uses it to dry the contents. That screen presses in and snaps into place. So it's good to go now. And we're ready to flip this back over and put it back on the base. Already set in position. Ching and I figured out where we want it to go. Thought we would spare you that conversation. The key things to pay attention to here are making sure that you can open the lid without it hitting the back wall making sure you can crank the handle comfortably, especially you don't want the outside of your hand hitting your wall here. That would be a bummer. The cranking is an important part of the operation, so you want that to be as easy as possible. Our installation is actually pretty straightforward. We don't have a very cramped space, so being able to get the urine bottle out isn't a big deal, but that's something you want to watch out for. So the way this is held down is with these stainless steel brackets. All the hardware on this guy is stainless. Brackets here, there's another one on the other side. Um, I've already pencil marked the one on the right side, so what I'm going to do is take this guy off the brackets. This is more of those thumb screws like are used to hold the seat to the solids tank. Of course, that's not very dramatic because the brackets aren't attached down. Take my sharpie. I've got my pencil mark here. I'm going to start by locating one bracket. 
because then we can reinstall the toilet and make sure the other bracket's in exactly the right spot. So drawn circles. Uh, we've got a, um, a standard residential laminate floor here installed over the OSB flooring of the RV. So we have somewhere around three quarters of an inch thickness. These are the screws we're going to be using. They're provided with the toilet. Two sizes, we're using the bigger size. These guys, so those will go down. Those ought to make it into the OSB to give us a good secure. All right. Now I am pilot drilling these because I don't want to crack my laminate and because I like to pilot drill screws. Okay, bracket going on. Set that guy back over. And I actually, I think I'm not gonna use the drill. I prefer to use a hand screwdriver. Things like this, it only takes a second longer and decreases your chances of splitting anything. The holes in this bracket are pretty generous, so you've got some possibility for adjusting the alignment. I'm not hearing any cracking noises, so I'll probably use the drill for the next bracket. And now, I'm going to leave this bracket about where it needs to be set the toilet back in position. There it goes. I'm making the thumb screw on the right side just kind of touching but not tight. And on the left side, I'll do the same. And give it just a little wiggle to make sure nothing is bound up. Last chance to check that it's straight. And I'll get my pencil. Mark the outside. Bracket over here. Where's the toilet? Oh, <laughs> this bracket came with it. Now we'll repeat the process on the left side, same as on the right, and test the toilet. This is what's going to hold the toilet in place, and this is also what needs to be removed when you are emptying the toilet. I didn't back this thumb screw out very far, so it hung up, but that's good. So I can tighten these thumb screws. You have your, your main hatch, that's where the number two goes down, and then Number one is going to all get directed to the front of the toilet and down those holes. It's a urine separating toilet. So you keep the urine out of the solids tank as much as possible. It's going to drain through those holes and comes out this little nozzle here. Now this nozzle has a little gasket under it and it seals against the opening of the urine bottle. That helps keep smells from coming out. And this urine bottle, it's not fully installed right now. I'm going to show you what's going on with that. It's got brackets that hold it to the floor, but you can see these brackets are different from the ones for the solid tank. The solid tank brackets are meant for you to lower the, the tank straight onto them. These brackets have the slot at the front. So what that's telling us is I'm taking them off because I don't want to scratch our floor. <laughs> When the brackets are installed, you'll have your tank just like this with no brackets on it. You 
probably won't be sticking your fingers inside it either like I am. And you can see it kind of bumps up against but doesn't fit right now. It needs to get kind of hooked and then slid under like that. That holds a nice tight seal here, keeps everything snugly together. It's nice too because you don't have to open up anything on the toilet in order to change out the bottle. You can have the lid shut, you don't have to separate anything up here. It's just pee in, pee out. I'm going to install this tank now. Um, I wasn't going to be able to get my, my drill in with the solid tank still in place, so I went ahead and pulled that out. It's very easy to do, so why not? These are the brackets for the urine tank. They're not identical. They're mirror images of each other. So uh, don't do what I would probably do, which is to forget and install them backwards because then you won't be able to get your tank back out. So we're going to set them with uh, the opening pointing forward, and I'm going to physically set them where they go on the right side so I don't forget. Now I'm going to mark the holes. These are going to get installed just like the solids tank brackets did. Brackets are all in place now. Time to check the fit with the toilet. We've put the toilet back on its brackets, and we didn't have any trouble with that. So that means that we're ready to move on.